Good evening. 2013 Toyota Sienna. Toyota Sienna. That's XLE. Halogen. Lights with projectors. Let's check how they they look first. This is this is the light output on the fence. This the light inside the projector. All right. Fog lights. Let's turn them on. All right. Let's get to work. First, let's open this hood. Should be pretty simple. All right, let's shut it off. And get to work. All right, first, let me show you what we're gonna put in here. We're going to put this style G5. All right, let's open this up. Alright, this is how it looks like. Since we installing this inside projectors, we are going to use another one like four chip. Alright. With the fan. Alright, we need to do what? We need to basically get in there and take the headlight out we're gonna do the passenger side first take the connector off first it will be easier Here you go. Take a new kit. Put it inside. Plug it in, red is positive, so plus on the connection side of a new kit. Plug it in, test it. New light, it's all white. See how it is? Uh, low beams are now white, fog lights are yellow. This is how it looks like on the car. Uh, let's see what we can do about the fog lights now. In order to change fog lights, you have to turn the wheel. Either way, take this, I believe it's 10 millimeter, this and one underneath here pull this cover and you can reach to the fog light took one off try this one out actually carefully because sometimes you got a bunch of garbage in here from the road Take a flashlight. 
flashlight. Where is it? Right here. Okay. I can show you. Okay. Here's the fog light in there. The bulb simply comes right out. Counterclockwise. Pull the wire out. Take this out. And we have H11 as well. Since this is not a projector um, housing, we can put something else in there. Let me see what I'm going to pick. Alright, since uh, it's going inside the bumper, I've decided to put this style. Let me open this up for you. Alright, here you go. You see how it looks? It doesn't have drivers slash ballast. It's built in. These are low wattage. Well, I mean low wattage you can even put it inside the headlights, but it's better to put it inside. All right, okay, let's see. Flashlight, let's pry this out. Okay. H11. Lock it in. Then connector goes in this, the same thing with connector here. It has red and white and white and black. I'm guessing red and white that's positive. Pull it in, put it in and go test headlights fog lights driver side headlight fog light passenger side Now we gotta put the passenger side in. Yeah, doesn't fit. I'm using a drill, so I have to turn the wheels the other way. Okay, now the wheel is turned. I'm just gonna take this one out. The reason why I can only take one is because uh, you see how this thing is cracked right here some cars are like that so it makes it easier to install it but also brings a lot of dirt in inside where the lights are where the housing is but this is okay because this one right here doesn't have a fan so it, does, it doesn't really matter all right so carefully pry, pry this thing out Usually it's hard just because it has a bunch of sand in there. And then you got a bulb in there. Counterclockwise. Gently. But use a little bit of force. That's it. I would connect the connector first, the right on the right, so positive on the right for me, so that you don't lose the wire anywhere. And then put it into the hole. Yeah, that's what she said.
even with two hands it can be not very easy all right let's go try it now this is the passenger side well now in order to make this nice and smooth use zip ties to tie everything up all right as far as the backup light in this car that's what the customer wants he wants backup lights changed to nice bright white this is how it looks like now so let's go ahead open up the trunk and start changing it trunk is open so you need to take this cover off this cover so you kind of have to pry it gently pry it out start from the bottom and you can see it's better to use pry tool preferably plastic so you can get to these pins right there so you can see uh, there are kind of like hooks over here so you have to kind of push them in and down okay there are um, plastic pins right here closer to the middle be careful with those too you don't want to break none of this stuff all right now we get the cover off all right this is how it looks like here's our light bulbs okay this is the bottom one which is our backup light pull it out oops see I don't have to try hard anymore you gotta pull them out first okay pull them completely out then we need to go back to the car and you need to turn ignition on but don't start it and put it in reverse make sure the emergency brake is on right go back to the car all right what you do is you take your LEDs my situation is this one okay and you put it in to make sure you choosing the right polarity you see nice and easy and now you can put it this thing inside and lock it in place same thing for the other side make sure you find the polarity first before putting everything together Okay, so want to make sure that it works. Okay, everything looks fine. Let's put the cover back. Same way you took it out, except for prying. The result: headlights, fog lights, the whole front of the car. All right. We can close the hood. See everything nice and neat inside. No mess. Jump the battery. 
car looks completely different and very nice. Now for the backup lights. backup camera that might be a better help that's it any questions ask